Czyżby Help Divers 2 miał stać się nie tylko ostatnim bastionem demokracji, ale też normalności? Zapraszam do obejrzenia wideo, które myślę, że warto, żeby obejrzała szersza publika. Hej, witajcie. Trafiłem na to nagranie jakiś czas temu, prowadząc samochód i stwierdziłem, że nie głupio by było je sobie obejrzeć razem, ponieważ facet porusza dość istotne kwestie. Link do tego filmu oczywiście przypnę w opisie. Sam kanał to jest The Archcast. Także weźmy go sobie, posłuchajmy, żeby było wygodniej. Włączyłem polskie napisy. Wiadomo, że one troszeczkę będą tam kaleczyć, ale myślę, że cały sens wypowiedzi da się zrozumieć. Something rather fascinating is going on in the Helldivers 2 community. By now, I'm sure you are aware that Helldivers 2 has become ridiculously popular. Absurdly so. And as with anything in the modern day world, whenever something becomes popular, people begin to flock to it in an effort to try and subvert it to their own goals. Which... Właśnie, nie? Dlaczego? Dlaczego tak się dzieje, że jeżeli tylko coś nabierze trochę rozgłosu, zaraz zlatują się wszelkiej maści mędy, politycy, aktywiści, którzy próbują ugrać troszeczkę na sławie danego produktu. Dlaczego nie mogą go po prostu zostawić w spokoju, działać sobie w swoim świecie, a nam pozwolić cieszyć się grom. This is what we're seeing happening here. Helldivers alerts. You might at first at a glance be tempted to think this is an official account saying, friendly reminder, don't be a fascist. Oh really now? Oh, that's an interesting take, particularly from a game that so obviously satirizes it, but no oh well. And... No właśnie. Kurde. Nie potrafię tego ogarnąć, nie? Jeżeli ktoś miał styczność z Helldiversami, dobrze wie, że ta gra wyśmiewa ideologię, no, o której on tu wspomina. Prześmiewa i się z niej nabija. Zresztą kto grał, kto oglądał nawet Żołnierzy Kosmosu, wie dobrze o czym mówię. And you should not be genuinely reciprocating approval of conquest, genocide and violence. Well, actually, if you are in a war where all the sides are attempting to conquer and genocide one another with violence, then yes, responding with those exact same things is 1000% legit. Czajcie to, jakbyśmy ruszyli na robale z, kwiat, z bukietami kwiatów w garściach zamiast porządnym gnatem. To quote another handsome lad with a massive forehead in another very, very relevant movie. We are in it for the species, boys and girls. But of course, this is not an official account. This is the official account, Helldivers 2. It has the exact same logo, as you will see. It's got much the same name as well, only adding alert. And it doesn't do a whole lot to make it clear that it's a so-called fan account. Standardowa, nie? Zagrywka. Poniżej pasa. Because this is, of course, about clout. As there is one position in particular that is so very interested with seeing fascists on every single street corner, in every single game, etc. The Antifa far-left political crowd. Now, normally, you would think that the no politics in games approach would be the correct one. However, this is where we get to the interesting part. I was banned from the Discord for what I'm about to say, but I do not think it is controversial. I would like this game to remain politically neutral. Someone in Discord suggested LGBTQ skins, and my response was to keep homosexual politics out of the game. Alright, fair enough. In fact, this seems like an actual legit problem because there have been plenty of demands on the Steam forums of just this. I have. No i tutaj kolejna rzecz, która mnie zastanawia. Walczymy dla superziemi, walczymy dla demokracji. Takie są zasady gry. Nie ma tutaj żadnych podziałów. Nie ma podziałów na kobiety, nie ma podziałów na mężczyzn, nie ma podziałów na kolor skóry. Wszyscy możemy zostać nurkami, wszyscy możemy walczyć za demokrację. 
Dlaczego ludzie usilnie starają się tworzyć podziały? Zakładając w tej chwili palę rękę, nieważne jakiej frakcji, jednej, drugiej czy trzeciej, mam wrażenie, że człowiek by równie dobrze mógł sobie założyć tarczę na plecy i stanąć pod murem, nie? Found dozens of threads like this, but this is this is where it gets really funny. You may notice the strange stripes in the background, indicating that all of these have been locked. Well, there was another post like this. Friend got banned for asking to add one LGBTQ cape. They seem. Właśnie o tym mówię. Dlaczego? Dlaczego twórcy mają? Stworzyć podziały. Skoro stworzyli grę, w której wszyscy walczymy za super ziemię, dlaczego teraz mają nas dzielić? To legitimately be banning both sides of this political discourse. In other words, they are actually saying no politics in this game. They are actually keeping the politics out of the video game, regardless of the political position. Now, of course, being on the more central or right wing side of things, I do believe that this is something that needs to be said. I do believe that most companies require this call out for them to even begin to think about the fact that the doctrinal philosophy that they've been infiltrated with is going to damage their product. But it's. Dokładnie. Czemu nie możemy trzymać polityki z dala od gier? Na chwilę obecną Arrowhead, tak? Arrowhead Studio robi coś genialnego. Nieważne, czy jesteś z lewa, czy jesteś z prawa. Jeżeli zaczynasz mądrkować, dostajesz bana i tyle. Pytanie, jak długo uda im się taki stan rzeczy utrzymać, nie? No ale póki co robią dobrą robotę. Seems as if the developers of Helldivers have actually realized that no, we can't have the political discussion. We are not a forum for the political discussion. We are a fucking video game about killing robots and bugs. We don't need this here. We are not the correct avenue or the venue. Stop, both of you, and I am 1000% in favor of this. Obviously, the retarded counter-argument of the leftist is, don't you realize the game is political? <laughs> you make political jokes in the game. You must be open to be a political battleground. No. Tak dla wyjaśnienia, dla tych, którzy ciut słabiej znają język, facet oczywiście to jest sar sarkastycznie czyta tego posta. To, że gra jest... ma jakiś tam wydźwięk polityczny, jest poruszana polityka w tej grze, wcale nie oznacza, że jest ona miejscem dla dyskusji politycznych o realnym świecie. Tutaj się w pełni z nim zgadzam z tym, co powie za chwileczkę. No, no, not at all. You can have a game that has political themes. You can even have a game that has overt in-universe politics, is it? You can even have a game that makes overt political declarations in it as well, as the game definitely does make fun of quite a few authoritarian philosophies, and still not make it a correct area for political discourse, which is exactly what they are currently trying to do. Will there be transplant capes? Locked thread. Trans LGBTQIA plus representation in game, locked thread. No LGBTQ plus representation in game, seriously, locked thread. This is the correct way of dealing with this. You do not bow down to either. Ale spójrzcie, jak ofensywne w ogóle są te posty. Mówimy tutaj o ludziach krzyczących o tolerancji. A każdego z tych postów wylewa się tyle jadu, tyle agresji. Przydałoby się to na polu bitwy, a nie na rozmowie o grach. You simply take a firm stance and say no, not here. This is a third person shooter action video game. We are going to literally accept as broad a constituency as you want. You're trans and want to play our game? Go on. You're right wing and want to play our game. Go on. Conservative, left wing, and Tifa. We don't care because we are a video game. 
It's a genuinely laudable position. Now, of course, again, I sympathize significantly more with this position than I do the other one, because this is absolutely subversive. I've talked about this in multiple occasions. Even if it's entirely possible, the guy in question here has, has no understanding of this. In fact, the majority of these people are probably, honestly, relatively well-intentioned. Dokładnie, tutaj też no, nie sposób się z nim nie zgodzić. Mam wrażenie, że no, nie wszyscy ludzie piszący to są źli. Być może tak jak on tutaj mówi, mają dobre intencje. Chcieliby zrobić jakiś ukłon w stronę jednej lub drugiej strony. No ale niestety no... Uważam, że w grach nie ma miejsca na coś takiego. Looking at the game is like my friend got banned for asking for this. Isn't that a little bit extreme? I mean, it's just one cape, right? Fair enough. And if it ever stopped at one cape, I wouldn't even have a problem with it either. But it never does because of this. This Zresztą. is why you cannot have one cape. Because the moment you do, people will see it as an affirmation of their political beliefs. The accounts are already there, chasing clout in the name of the game, attempting to push a political Jeżeli ustąpisz raz, będziesz musiał ustąpić doing. drugi, like później this, trzecim, czwartym, piątym. Like, oh, I skończy się na przeganianiu, nie? <laughs> And maybe he is, maybe he's just a moron. It's entirely possible. But the entire ideology is designed to be subverted. I've read enough of the original philosophers now to recognize that very fact. And so, yes, even giving them the pinky no, finger właśnie. will only result in further demands. It is inevitable. But at the same time, you are also going to need to deal with a rising counterbalance to this, which is going, which has realized what I just mentioned, that this is subversive and must be stopped at the beginning. And hey, this might even be an acceptable conversation in a, in a closed vacuum, right? Somebody says, hey, can I have this? Somebody goes, no, I think that bringing the ideology, can we not? And... Mm. Tak naprawdę mógłbym równie dobrze się tutaj nie odzywać, ponieważ nie mam zbyt wiele do dodania, jeśli chodzi o to wideo, ale zależy mi na tym, żeby jak najwięcej ludzi go obejrzało. Nie wiem, czy o tym wspominałem, Arkadikus w swojej recenzji, zajebistej swoją drogą, Helldiversu, wspomniał o tym, no ale to tylko tak się ślizgnął po temacie. Uważam, że no, temat jest na tyle istotny, że więcej ludzi powinno się z nim zapoznać. I again sympathize primarily with this post because he has the best point. But if you are a third party developer, the easiest and by far the most effective way. Jeżeli się nie mylę, Asman Gold też o tym nagrywał. No. You don't get to talk about it. You don't get to discuss it. We are enforcing the 100% politic free zone. So, and as long as they keep to this, as long as they keep to keeping their game entirely neutral, not adding in any right-wing symbols, no left-wing symbols, nothing whatsoever. I am completely satisfied with this approach. In fact, I think it might be the ideal one. So, do let me know what you think down in the comment section below as well. Do you approve of this, or do you suspect that there might be concessions made in the future. I, I, I am personally worried about that because this is probably eventually going to grow into a larger story. We'll wait and see. At the moment, I think Helldivers 2 has the sheer influential clout as the game of the moment to ride it out. I don't even think most of the gaming um, outlets will want to target it right now because if they alienate the Helldivers fans, which they are currently trying to farm for clicks as hard as they possibly can, then they will lose a great deal of revenue. And seeing as the various gaming websites are currently crashing and burning at a frankly heartening speed, that might not be what they're searching for right now. In fact, I have been noticing an interesting trend that more and more of these sites have deviated away from politics themselves and seem to be producing the old-fashioned, guidey garbage that we all know gaming journalists exist to make. It might still be garbage, but at least it's non-offensive garbage. 
I, though, am quite approving of it, and we'll see where it goes from there. Until next time, I've been Arch, thank you all very much for watching, and I do hope to see you all again soon. Have a good day. No, you watch now. Helldivers 2 community. By now, I'm sure you. Stoi, gdzie będziesz? Co o tym wszystkim myślicie? Czy Helldiversi ulegną, czy pozostaną bardziej w swych przekonaniach i nie będą dopuszczać polityki do gry? Ponieważ, no tak jak na końcu stwierdził, istnieje ryzyko utraty przychodów. Wiadomo, że jeżeli firma może stracić przychody, zazwyczaj się ugina pod naporem, więc może być problem. Ale mam nadzieję, że Helldiversi nie skończą w taki sposób, że będziemy latać w różowych zbrojach jednorożców, ponieważ no, byłby to stracony potencjał. Także dajcie znać w komentarzach, co wy o tym myślicie. Bądźcie zdrowi i do zobaczenia.